All right, we're about down to it. I spent a couple, couple hours online today trying to get this hose because like one or two different, like uh, two places that AutoZone had it out of my way, out of my way, and then finally um, I got on AutoZone and I was able to find it at a AutoZone store on my way home. So I picked it up, whole fifteen dollars. So that's what this one looks like, and of course the other one, and it's and it's thinner. It's not as big. Um, where the other one comes up, goes in, and then drops down. So there we are. Let's uh, finish getting this antifreeze in here. We'll get this puppy fired up, get it bled, and then uh, we can go from there. All right, boys and girls, it's been a long, long week. Getting this puppy together and getting getting everything swapped out and getting where it is right now. Got the, got the ho new, new hose on here. That's all I was waiting for. I got the antifreeze in it. Now we're going to go ahead and fire it up, get the antifreeze running through the system, and check the leaks. And have, at that point, I'll have the, uh, bleeding the system, you're going to have antifreeze coming out of this, out of this cover right here. my pan underneath it so I'm not wearing antifreeze all over my floor for some reason okay I've got extra antifreeze in the end I got more antifreeze in the end than I need and I'll suck it suck it through the system as needed. Okay, radiator's full. Go ahead and get her started. And we're gonna go ahead and we'll get the transmission serviced and make sure the power steering fluid is up. Here we go. As you followed me getting the pre-timing done, I don't know if it's, I know I set it for what, I matched them all up as far as what top dead center was between the two engines and then set it like that. Um, then what you're supposed to do is take one of these alignment tools you pull that completely out and you go ahead and set your set the synchro to match this and then you set your timing at 26 degrees let me read that again I can't remember whether it's before or after and then you're going to go ahead and stick that back down there, and then you're done. Well, 
you saw in that video how bad the inside of that pickup was and that the pickup is cracked. So I got on eBay or actually Amazon and I put in what I needed and guess what? I'm going to get the whole kit, I'm going to get the whole synchro shaft that goes down into the, dry, into the oil pump and then the actual pickup on top plus I'm going to get a, I'm going to get the adjuster with it for 35 bucks. So I couldn't pass that up. So that will be here in a, in a week or two. Um, so then I'll make, then I'll know, you know, that it's actually timed right. Right now it's just kind of shaking a little bit, but it is running. That's all I care about. We got all the fluids done and uh, that. So it is. It does. It does say number one cylinder at 26 degrees after top dead center. So I had that at top dead center, and then I took it, took it beyond it to get over the 26. Um, but unfortunately, I couldn't get, I couldn't get any of these to match it. So, all right, right now what we got going, she's warming up, we're running the antifreeze through the whole system, we got to wait for the transmission, it's going to warm up. In the heaven, show it. You can't be sh Why am I blowing antifreeze? What the hell? You mother...
and you sold it to me for a hundred dollars, you didn't say a good thing. That's what happens when you freaking trust somebody. All that freaking work, and it's a bad freaking motor. If I wanted to do a head gasket, I would have done it on the other motor. Well, you'll be hearing from me. I got no recourse, but you can definitely know I'm, I'm freaking pissed. And I hope karma freaking... I got no more freaking words. All right, we're back on this. Um, now I've checked, I went ahead and checked the compression on it. They're all running 135 to 140 PSI. And if you've got a blown head gasket, you ain't gonna be running that high. Also, I cranked it through with all the spark plugs out of it. And there's no antifreeze coming out of the plug holes, which I know for a fact on the motor that I just pulled out of it, you cranked it, it was pissing antifreeze out the cylinder. So at this point, it's possible that I have a intake leak in what, from one of the passages that uh, come into the cylinders or intake. But as of right now, I've got plenty of PSI out of all those cylinders, and I don't see any traces of antifreeze being pissed out those cylinders. <laughs>